how do you feel now that you're not vegan? I feel good. What's the difference? Do you feel any different or no? Um, how long were you vegan for? Seven years. Seven years? Yeah. Like strict? Not you, super strict. I do like cheese you, every now and then. Did you sneak like, some shit in when Sam wasn't around? No meat. No, never. Never? Never. We were in it together. Not like a, you weren't like. I don't go behind her you back didn't go to for anything. Like you, that, no, I'm, I'm, I know you I mean, walk into 7 Eleven and you see those Slim Jims staring at you, brother, and you want to snap into a Slim Jim. Ooh, I see those <laughs> those greasy glizzies on the fucking roller, and I just want to. Uh, no, I don't. I don't do that kind of shit. Cause like, again, it's like it's all about for me what it was. Like I went vegan when I started like going to an office, and that was a way for me to like almost like put up a wall between me and like everybody else because like I also didn't like I was sober for most of the time that I was like at those places like when I was working because I didn't want to like make like any like true like I had friends and everything but I didn't want like those things that like tied me to those places because it was always just like a pit stop to get to like where I'm at right now because I just wanted to like what learn do you and everything things to tie you to those places well so it's like <clears throat> Everybody eats together. Everybody does like the same shit. Like, hey, we're gonna go to a so restaurant. Wanted, Do you want to come with yeah. us? Like, oh no, they don't have anything for me to eat there. Like, oh, no, I don't drink, so I can't go to happy hour. I'm just gonna go home, and hang out with Sam. So it was like my way of just like kind of like, ah, eh, I'm good. But uh, what was it? Oh, going. What were you saying? I forgot about going vegan. Oh, yeah. vegan for seven years. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You were saying when you were up in Leo Burnett, you went vegan, and it was like a, it was also a way for you to like disconnect from the people that were there. Yeah, and it was also just a way to like clear my mind i was like going through a lot of stuff and i felt like you know like changing my relationship with food was a big way for me to also like get off of like the old habits that i had and like i just kind of wanted to like cut that like i don't know it's like a really like it's hard to explain because i've never really like thought about it until right now but i think the, the biggest thing that i enjoyed about like being vegan was just I felt like it was something that me and Sam shared together no matter where we were at because we didn't get to spend a lot of time with each other because we were always working. But, like, I always knew, like, wherever she was, like, we were, like, in this thing together. Yeah. And the thing that broke me was fried chicken because I had this thought when I was like, Oh, yeah. Do I really want to go the rest of my life without eating fried chicken? So that's no. what that's what broke me. And I don't feel any different. I feel you feel, just you, feel you feel the same. Yeah, I didn't get sick when I transitioned out of it. Yeah, I didn't like a lot of people like to like to hyper and sensationalize like the difference of being vegan and not being vegan. I mean, I, I don't know any of the science. I don't know any of the research. Yeah. I don't know whatever. But like, yeah. I don't feel any different. I feel good. I'm Eating also feels good. grateful too that like a lot of like one of the things that always really bothered me about mm -hmm. it was like, say you'd go somewhere and somebody would make something for you like, oh, we made this. And then you have to say. Oh, I'm vegan. I can't eat that. Thank you for your generosity, but please just put it in the trash. I'm not going to touch it. Yeah. And that was something that always really bothered me, like having yeah. to say no to people's generosity. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the thing that I'm most grateful for, like transitioning back into just eating whatever. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I get it. I feel like, <laughs> I, I mean, <clears throat> I hate eating like, Sweet Pea loves buying the fucking, like, Publix chicken breasts that are, like, this big. Oh, and yeah. And you know they were just injected with all the most fucked yeah. up shit. <laughs> what animal imagine. did this come from? Right, yeah. Some <laughs> fucking chicken on steroids. Like, <laughs> I hate, I always feel like shit eating that, but she loves buying it. But she doesn't, like, she... It's a good deal. It's a great deal. They were a BOGO. It's a good deal. They were BOGO. <laughs> you gotta look past it. It's a good deal. Like, I don't know. I feel like eating, for me, eating... I, Chicken's okay. Like, I don't mind chicken. Chicken all tastes the same. It tastes like whatever. It depends on what sauce you put on it. Yeah, sauce. But, like, s sauce dripping. Dripping sauce, sauce on it? On the chicken? But, like, like eating, s like, a good steak to me is like eating a dessert. Yeah. It's, like, it's so fucking good. Like, it stands it, on its own. It doesn't need anything. Yes. I mean, you, can you don't do even need right. anything. Like, I could just eat, like, like going to uh, Ruth Chris with Mark, just ordering the fucking big... T-bone or the uh, the ribeye with that garlic sauce butter all over it, Ooh. dude. Like, there's nothing better than just eating just a big fucking juicy piece of meat with nothing else. There's something really cool about just, like, eating with a knife, too, because that's something you don't really Ooh, do when you're yeah. vegan. 
Yeah. Because everything, like, you just, like a lot of beans, a lot of greens, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of veggies. So it's all just like bowls and grains and all, you don't really need a knife for anything. Have you ever gotten like blood work done and like yeah. looked at it? Yeah. Did you do it a lot? Uh, well, I had a health screening at one place that I worked at when I was vegan and it came back like fucking A1. And I was, really? Like, the healthiest fucking person in there. Really? And then I got it done again like a couple weeks ago. Like after I've been eating meat for like a year and it's like everything's still like same. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I got mine done a couple, like a month or two ago and I had super high cholesterol mm. and I'm like the healthiest. I'm like, like the, you're on it. I'm super on it with what I eat. Like yeah. I, I pay more attention to what I eat than probably anything else. Yeah. I'm very conscious, conscientious about what I eat and what I put in my body and everything. And, mm. and I, I try not to eat shit, I try to eat carbs try to only eat vegetables and meat and I had really high cholesterol. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I emailed this guy that had the podcast, this guy, Dom, who's a, um, Oh yeah. The, the n- scientist, nutritional scientist, the weightlifter. He's like, yeah, the guy who deadlifts. Yeah. He, the, the only person I know who's dedicated his life to nutritional science and how it affects your body. And the cool thing about him, like he's his t- test subject. Yes. And he tests everything himself. He literally tests all these products on himself and, and tests his blood every single day to the molecule, to the fucking whatever it is. And uh, I was I was texting him back and forth about it. I'm like, dude, I'm like freaking out. I'm like, I'm going to have a heart attack any day now. My cholesterol's through the roof or whatever. And I found out, he's like, cholesterol's a myth. He's like, high cholesterol's not bad. Hmm. It, it's like, it's been this thing, this propaganda hmm. that people have pushed on us like for years that high cholesterol automatically relates to heart disease disease when it's not because there's a lot of he's basically he was showing me that he basically sent me all these studies of these crazy athletes that do like that are like marathon runners Mm -hmm. and triathlon people who are super super keto and all they eat is meat and they don't eat any carbs or whatever and these are like people that run 10 miles a day when they're not doing marathons so on their off days it's a casual 10 and they have super high cholesterol hmm I wonder um, why that is. But it's like some sort of like, I don't know, I guess it's like a genetic thing or whatever. But his whole thing was with all his studies, he's been, he's come up with the hypothesis that cholesterol is not bad. It's a, it's a myth that's been pushed <laughs> like on that. us. Like, you know what? It's not bad. It's not, not anymore. I'm going to go ahead and say not bad. But a lot of people, a lot of people agree with him though. I mean, he's just like a, a scientist that people can agree with now. Yeah. It's like, he comes out, it's like. It's not bad. And it's like, see, told you. Yeah. Now he's like that person. Yeah. But that was weird. Who fucking knows? Who fucking knows, man? Everyone's different. And that's the thing, too. It's like you can't just do what you think is good because it worked for somebody else. You got to do, like, what's good for you at yeah. the end of the day. Like, if What they, makes you feel good? Yeah. What does fucking Bud Light? Bud Light? Bud Light. Cold beer on a Friday Cold night? Cold beer, some tealing, and some liquid death? You know what makes me feel good? What makes you feel good, Luke? A pair of jeans that fit just right, Woo! a cold beer on a Friday night, and you know what? I'm going to turn that radio on. Luke, stir, let your hair down. I'm letting my hair down. Woo. Oh, boy. <laughs> and a little time out. We, we should make our own country song. What's up, world? You just watched a clip from one of our exclusive Patreon episodes. That's right. You can get weekly, pure, uncut content straight from the jungles of Colombia. If you want to watch the full episode, make sure you go to patreon.com slash concrete videos. Peace.